Hey guys, Crewman here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. So, at the end of my last video, I spoke about how sometimes I just want mining to be more passive, and how it feels way too active, especially when life gets busy and sometimes I feel like I don't have time to redo 20 different flight sheets and to reset every individual overclock on all the different models of GPUs I have to maximize their efficiency and profits. And it got me thinking about something that has honestly never really crossed my mind before. And that's farm density. Now, as you guys know, I have a shed with about 200 amps of 240 volt power. I also have a garage of 90 amp 240 volt power. So I never really cared about density if we're being perfectly honest. But now with my power rates going up, with the work to become profitable going through the roof, as in you always have to be on top of the next latest and greatest thing, it almost makes me want to slim down into a few hyper dense rigs, AI rentals becoming more and more popular. It, almost, it also almost makes me wonder if we are doing it wrong by building up lots of cheap last generation, frankly, almost two generation old rigs in super cheap server cases like we've all been doing over the last few months. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad strategy and I think it will pay off. And frankly, over the course of this year, it has paid off for me. And I don't necessarily think I would sell them anytime soon, but if I could start this year over again, or if I had a chance to sell them all for what I paid for them, maybe I'd have considered only going high-end 40 series like 4080 Super, 4090, or the 170 HX and making a much smaller but much more dense farm. I think it would have been profitable longer throughout the year. I think I would have had less spans when I would have basically had to have shut off because there were definitely points in the year where it really wasn't that profitable. And I think it would have been a lot easier to switch around to the latest and greatest algo that required its own custom miner and custom overclocks back when we were switching when it felt like we were switching weekly especially in the early part of the year towards you know the beginning of summer and i also think in that regard i would have went for like i said one maybe two models of gpus max and not just hunted down the best deals and mixed a farm at that point i know it was all about least amount of money as you could but i think Spending a little bit more to make everything a lot easier in terms of time would have been something I probably should have considered sooner. And honestly, I still do have more different kind of GPUs than I'd prefer, which is one of the reasons that I've been selling off random GPUs like my BC-160s and I basically got out of all my AMD GPUs. Now that's not to say I won't get back into them in the future, but as of now, I'm trying to get to as few models of GPUs as possible. I actually knew a guy this year that his entire farm was in basically like 20 or so 4090s. And I used to think, man, that isn't the most intelligent thing to do. And I don't think I would have done it. But you know what? Going back, hindsight is definitely 2020. And I, I love being a YouTuber because all of this is recorded. But I would have just spent the year not necessarily making 40 series rigs, but basically like 4090 rigs, maybe 4070 Ti, but basically only 4090 rigs if I could have helped it. I could have did something like a proof of useful work rig as well to make them good on AI rentals. Not that proof of useful work has taken off and I don't know if it will, but you know, I could have played the AI rental game too and it would have been pretty easy to get a lot of, you know, multiple 40 series rigs rented. Now, how many could I have gotten? I don't know, but two to three, 4090 rigs would have been a lot easier to manage and probably have gotten me into a lot of early mining options that I just didn't feel like doing because I just didn't want to spin up 10, 15 rigs or so on a new coin and update all the OCs and change them all. Like sometimes it was just a lot of work. And at the end of the day, you just don't feel like doing it. Sure, I missed out on money, but like I don't know, I don't really regret it, but I also think maybe I wouldn't have missed on those opportunities if it was like 20 GPUs you gotta get running on the new thing. Also, how many times when you're setting up a new rig or reorganizing your rig because you have to have all of the GPUs be the same models or you just need to change stuff around, even if it's something as simple as reflashing an SSD, do you bork a rig? You know, the age old saying of, if it isn't broke, why are you changing it? 
Miners never listen to. And we're always, we've all done it. You've all done it. We've all taken a rig that worked just fine, changed one or two things on it, and bam, it doesn't work. And you're spending hours fixing it, and you're like, why am I doing this? You know, it got to the point where I would have a rig off for, you know, two or three months just because I was like, nope, not wasting time going to it. Maybe I wouldn't have had that problem if I only had two or three or four rigs. Ironically enough, I literally spent the last two months getting rid of every single problematic GPU that I owned to the point where I wanted them gone so bad, even if I took a loss on them, I didn't care. And it has made my life so much easier. But I'm not immune to the rig borking. Yesterday, while getting some rigs on Clore.ai, I literally had to reflash an SSD because it was too small and I borked it. And I spent about two hours trying to get this rig working when I basically said, no, nah, I'm good. And I just turned it off. And that basically was the last straw before I had to make this video. I was like, man, if I was more dense, maybe this wouldn't have happened. And maybe if I had used higher quality parts, because you know me guys, I just go for the cheapest thing I can. I used to be all about, oh, I don't care about spending the time. I'd rather save the money. Well, now I think I'm at the GPU mining phase where I'd rather spend a little more money to save way more time. These are just some thoughts I've been considering over the past few weeks and I was and I figured it was time to share it with you. That it's time to start focusing more on density, whether or not you're looking to start a farm from scratch or just add some more rigs. I think that during the holidays, this is the time where miners really wanna sell their GPUs because everybody's looking to buy GPUs during the holiday every year, whether there's a shortage or not. You know, I've sold more GPUs in the last three weeks than I have in the last six months. So I think if you were ever going to swap around your farm, now's the time to do it, especially when, you know, say like high end, higher end 40 series cards could be going down in price as everybody starts looking for the next greatest thing known as Blackwell. I honestly don't think people will regret going with the more dense option. Again, this is just my opinion though. But me personally, the only GPUs that I have actually purchased in the last five or so months have been the 170HX since they can still be had for a reasonable price. How much longer, I honestly don't know, but I'll keep buying them until they become too expensive. But I also may start looking at 4080s and 4090s, and I actually did just buy a 4080. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and sub, and remember guys, maybe we need to start changing the way we think on density. Croup man.